Greetings, Toiletarians! I'm your host, Toilet Terry, and you guys are all watching the final episode of Season 16 of Toilet Talk with Terry. Hard to believe we've made it this far, eh? I am so thankful that we have made it this far since day one, and thankful that we are about to get out of this season and start the next season. So, what's the topic for this special episode, you may ask? Well, I'm going to answer you right now. The topic is Bodily Explosion, Part 3. As you might remember, for those of y'all who were watching... Bodily Explosion Part 1 was the last episode of Season 15. The first episode of this season, Season 16, was Bodily Explosion Part 2. Now, for the end of this season, let's end it with Part 3. Only this time around, we're going to focus more on school and summer day camp, to be more specific. Let's start with school, shall we? I remember... Back when I was in the sixth grade, third period was math class, and as all the students were filing in, the teacher would look at us and repeatedly say, don't come in here with that talking. If you talk, I'm going to put you out. This class was right after lunch, and <laughs> as soon as they put Mexican food, especially beans, on the cafeteria menu, she went from saying, don't come in here with that talking. She then said, <laughs> she would say, <laughs> she'd say, don't come in, don't come in my classroom with them bodily explosions. <laughs> if you explode, I'm going to put you out. <laughs> mm -hmm. and then on to summer day camp, you see. At summer day camp, <laughs> as, okay, so to back it up a little bit, summer day camp, each week, one of the things we would do was the teacher would teach us dance lessons just for fun. All the teachers in the camp did it for all age groups. In our group, this kid named Jabuti, that was his name, he was the music maker for our dance group except all the music, unfortunately, was coming out of his butt. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the week, we'd all rally together, and we would see which dance team would win the end-of-the-week prize at the end of that week. For us, let me back it up a little bit. So, Djibouti... We taught him this dance, you know, where you lift your leg, a one and a two and a three and a four. But because he was full of gas, his went something like a one and a two and a <laughs> <laughs> We all laughed so hard. We were all cracking up laughing at him. Some of the littler kids were saying, do it again, do it again, do it again. <laughs> And then the teacher said, yes, we are going to do it again. That's going to be our chant at the end of the week. And to make a long story short, we won for getting the most laughs, especially at, out of the little children. <laughs> but let's go back to school now. You see, I passed gas in school, not summer day camp. Djibouti passed gas in summer day camp and... Maybe or maybe not at school. Who knows? Because we didn't go to the same school. You <laughs> see, mine would be silent but deadly. I remember one time it just blew the classroom door wide, <laughs> wide open. <laughs> open. And then I was thanking God that, uh, thank God Djibouti doesn't go to the same school with me. There were two second grade classes, two. And I prayed to God... It, God, if you bring him to this school, put him in the other second grade class. We don't need double the trouble. But it turns out it would give all of second grade the trouble. Maybe even the double the trouble, the, the triple the trouble. Who knows? Because you would have one bodily explosion maker in one classroom and the other in the other classroom and vice versa. 
You see, if Djibouti was in the other class and he was doing it, actually doing it at school, not summer day camp, let's say a couple of students requested the teacher, can we move to the other class? He's being really nasty. And they'd be like, oh, sure. So two new students come into our class. But because of me, that defeated the purpose. You see, and three students from our class were like, John is too disruptive, or Toilet is, yeah, whoever I was back then, is too disruptive. Move him to the other class, or move us back to the, or to the other class, please, 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 please. <laughs> In short, that being said, that all being said, ugh, if he were to come to that school and be, be in either second grade class, it would cause severe and total madness. Mm -hmm. The second grade teachers, both of them, would eventually, probably eventually, talk to each other and come to terms with the fact that there's not just one bodily explosion maker in the second grade, there's two. If he was there and we both had a bodily explosion at the same time, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it would blow both doors right across from each other, wide open, and then set off the fire alarm. <laughs> and in case you were wondering, that's what you do to start an autistic dance party. Pull the fire alarm. Just kidding. Just kidding. Don't, don't repeat that anymore. <laughs> I know I'm laughing, but still, it's not, it's not funny. Anyway. I gotta tell you, this, this is probably one of the best conclusions to my videos. So, both doors wide open, setting off the fire alarm, but that didn't have to happen to set off the fire alarm. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> Sorry for my laughter. This probably won't be as funny as you think it is. Uh, when it was the next summer and Djibouti was back at camp that year, again, this one day, he came in, he was smuggling a fire light, like a lighter. And when the teacher wasn't looking, he put it up to his butt and then farted fire. <laughs> he set his fart on fire and everyone was just cracking up laughing but it also caused an explosion. And when the teacher barged in and saw the explosion, she grabbed the fire extinguisher and went aggressive on it. Somehow, she knew immediately that Djibouti was the culprit. So, he got kicked out of summer day camp. He never came back. Not even to my school. Thank, thank God. <laughs> So, I guess the moral of this video is don't smuggle a lighter into summer day camp or school because if you do and the teachers or the counselors find out, you'll get expelled or kicked out. And that's all I have to say about that. Anywho, hope you guys enjoyed season 16. We cannot wait to kick off season 17 next week. It'll be amazing. Trust me, you won't want to miss it. Okay. This very moment is season 16 of Toilet Talk with Terry signing off. That being said, keep it real. Peace out. <laughs>